Hello everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here, of course, in Hearts of Divine 4, playing as the United Kingdom of Portugal and Brazil. So now, right now, I'm thinking a few things. This is my second or third attempt at this, so I'm going to do something a little crazy. You see, last time, we gave the Azores to the Allies. They have a little bit of resistance there. And you see down here, we have these colonies called Angola, Mozambique, but you know what would be really awesome? If we could, like, have, like, direct access through here. So, and unfortunately, they're part of the Allies. But France, Germany, Yugoslavia, Italy, they're all part of the Axis. And you know what would be cool? What if we could join the Axis ourselves so that they could help us out? Now, at the end of the last episode, I was thinking, you know what? If the United States got involved in the war, that'd be great. If we could ally with them, but it's 1939, they're not going to get involved right now. So, how about we just go ahead and justify on the Azores, which we literally gave to um, the UK in the last episode. I'm pulling some weird chess move here. Let's see, so they're busy fighting the French. That's fine. Hopefully, when we go to war with the Allies, we can join the Axis. That's going to be important so that I can still kill off the Spanish Directory. But for right now, what if I sent my horses down here to take a lot of territory in Africa. That might work. That might not work. But that might work. So let's get that ready. You guys, get ready for war, because you guys should be okay without me doing this. So, I am pulling some sort of weird move, because at this point, the Axis is looking pretty amazing, because like France still has all of its manpower. They, they invaded uh, them up there, Albania doing the Allies. Africa will fall eventually. I mean, Italy has support from France, so they don't have to deal with that. They already took out like, Suez, Syria. And sure, the Allies have China, and they have the Raj. But, uh, China isn't looking so good. And sure, the Japanese have actually invaded down here too, so. I think if we join the Axis, we'll be okay, and oh, the Japanese faction is still down here too. Um, that does leave us open to attacks down here in Brazil, which is actually probably a really, really, really bad thing. But, uh, it's something I'm gonna have to risk, because I want all the rest of Spain. We need Spain. As much as I love Brazil, we need Brazil. But, uh, this is still gonna be very, very important. Besides, if we, as long as we hold a little piece of Brazil, we can launch attacks from there to, you know, defeat anyone else in here, so... Uh, Netherlands is part of the Allies. That's why they're fighting. Cool. We need military police, definitely, for uh, resistance stuff. But let's do motorized first. We have a bonus for that. 159 political power. There's really nothing that we could get that would say, like, wow, we need that. Mm, but maybe how about ships? ship stuff? We can make more ships, even though I do want more tanks. I really, really, really want more tanks. Go ahead and stop training. You guys look pretty good. What is our supply like? We need more artillery. So... Okay, we can go to war with them. Nice. Do that. Do that. Put you at the bottom. I want more fighters, more bombers, stuff like that. And what are we trading? Who are we trading with? The United States. Sorry, US. No longer you. Germany. Yay. And aluminum. Hungary. Very good. Now, I will go to war soon, but I want to go to war. I'll at least get the justification to go to war with these guys as well the Spanish Directory first, because I do not want them to join the Axis. I want to join the Axis first. So they cannot. And are our horses down here? No, they're about to get down there, though. Cool. Ship stuff? It's okay. I'm going to actually just put everyone under one general, or one admiral, I should say, really, because you're going to be doing a lot of Coast Guarding stuff. Yeah, because this is going to be a, take a while. How strong is South Africa? SA Corps Engineers. They're pretty democratic. We got medium tanks? Awesome. They have... Uh, we have no idea. Well, South, Af South Africa shouldn't hold on for too long. If we do okay. That would be good. How much longer until we have to wait to get to this war justification? Because they won't join until I go to war with them. So about a month. Okay. That's, we got about a month to get ready for stuff. What are we losing fuel on? The Navy? Why are you, why are you, why are you moving? Why you go? Oh, we're building a lot of stuff up. I do want to build up the infrastructure down here as well. That'd be kind of nice. Mozambique, Angola. Decrypting stuff for a Spanish directory. Good, good, good. 
95 factories. We're, we're going to lose probably quite a few of them once Brazil goes under. Because even though I would love to, you know, attack South America by itself, they're guaranteed by the U.S. And by joining the Axis, this actually helps us, gives us some sort of extra benefit when we want to attack down there too. Um, what are we going to do? 39 stuff. Better artillery. That'd be good. That'd be real good. Now, the biggest problem, though, is the Soviet Union. Actually, Poland, because Poland is still here. We're trying to do the Baltic Alliance, allied with Lithuania, Spanish oppressors. They're doing German war economy, but they haven't fought the Polish yet. It's October 9th, 1939. And there goes Nigeria. Good. And we have our war justification for the Azores. It takes, oh, it fell forever. Awesome. You guys are poised to go, my cavalry. Good. And you guys actually aren't too bad. You're 18 combat width, which isn't great, but that's not too bad, especially with support artillery, support engineers. And any day now, we'll be able to go to war with these guys. But first, war with the UK. Because the, the only major in the Allies, I think, is the UK. That's it. So if the UK falls, I can get Rhodesia. I can get Zambia. We can do really well. And then the Germans will just have to focus on the Soviets. And then the United States. And that's pretty much it. Ooh. Operations. Cypher. Ah, uh, you know what? I'll do it. Because I like doing it like this. Prepared. Commence when ready. Commence. Come on. Come on. Come on. Let us go. I want to fight them. They're not that strong. We all know that they're not that strong. They have up to 11 divisions. Ah. Uh, roads, bridges, and dams. And justification is ready. Let's go get a new focus. So, we're going to war with the Allies. I want to build up, like, my colonies, but... Latin America, deal with fascism? Why deal with fascism? When you could just join them. I should have gone with the National Syndicalist path, but whatever. Uh, this will auto-bypass, because, like I said, I tried this a little earlier. Met Metropolitan Army, that's not bad. Standardization, that's pretty good. That's not bad. Uh, it's a lot of land doctrine stuff, which isn't bad, but... Eh. Naval stuff, our navy is going to get destroyed. But whatever. It's, it's a worthy cause. Uh, let's go with constru construction speed. So, a new industry. Thanks to the latest technological advances in automated production, we can continue improving and expanding our civilian facilities in order to achieve new, fish new levels of efficiency. Good. Uh, I start making some of those. That's important. I really want a lot of these guys. Support equipment, that's an okay amount. Like, that's an okay amount, yeah. We have enough of that for now. Cool. Let's go ahead. And go to war with these guys. But first, let's make sure we get enough fuel for everyone. Venezuela, I don't want any convoys getting intercepted. That'd be good. We need a, just give me one more steel, Germany. That'd be great. Since we're starting to run out of stuff to build, even though technically we'll never, well, we have enough space for now. Ships, go ahead, start guarding convoys here. Give me about one day, let them get in the water. And let's go. Let's do it. UK, you're up. Now, I'm not going to go to war yet. I want the Germans to invite me. Now, we're at war with all these fellas. Which, you know, whatever. Take Zambia. Ah, there we go. France, yes. German Reich wants us to join the Axis. Thank you. I've joined the Axis, which means you guys cannot. Boom! There we go. Immediately commence an attack on the Spaniards. And they immediately join the allies. Oh, buddy boy. Uh, and refuse a naval blockade. There we go. Ah, uh, good. What does that even do? Refuse a naval blockade. People don't like us as much. Loses Anglo-Portuguese alliance. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We were allied for a long time, actually. Sorry if you wanted me to stay with the alliance with uh, those fellas down or up in the UK. But, uh... It's gonna work out this way. Yeah, I will just go ahead and join everything you're doing. So, like I said earlier, France invaded up here. They're doing okay. They're probably gonna get pushed out. But, oh, Japan has accepted our offer to do the blockade. Or evade the naval blockade. A missive, or a missive from Japan has arrived today accepting our offer to evade the British naval blockade. We will use our convoys to meet their supply needs where Japanese ships cannot reach. In return, they will divert production from one of their factories to provide us with the materials we need for our own projects. Great. I love it when we can work together, right? Right, Japan? Good. Do that. Do that. That. Take Gibraltar. That's going to be incredibly important. 
Uh, France has joined the German Reich in a war. Oh, and we have some of this. That's not good. Oh, we have Italy here, too. Are we at war with you guys? Yes, we are. Go ahead and... If you can take, like, their capital, that'd be great. I doubt it, though. I'm not sure why you guys aren't going. But whatever. Go straight for Salisbury. That area. Praetoria. Ah, uh, sure. Uh, no negotiation back with these guys. Yeah, I, I don't plan on keeping these guys for that long. Just to hold until everyone here can, like, hold off. Vampire Brazil, we still have a cipher for? No, not really. Alright, so what can we do? That's a lot of war propaganda. Cancel the blockade. Nah, I don't want to cancel it. That doesn't sound like a smart idea. Ah, Venezuela's done the same thing. Great. Oh, and the French and the Germans are storming this area. Yes, please. Yes. Actually, just keep going this way, guys. We took Madrid. Awesome. Just cut these guys off. This opens up a lot more opportunities for the Axis, actually, because in Africa, because of our location and where we're at, this helps them out quite a bit, probably. Help clean up Africa much faster with our territories, our colonies, which I want to integrate later on. Oh, see, the Italians are down here already. Great. And the French are almost here, too. Even though the Belgians are probably pushing into Angola. Yeah, Leopoldville. Hmm. Interesting. Yugoslavia has accepted our blockade. Great. Just keep giving more factories, guys. I love the factories. I love it. We've taken 6,000 casualties. We've done 3% of the war score so far. And we've been encircled. But not for much longer. Oh, my goodness. Not for much longer. Get to Valencia. That'd be great. Oh, then... Wait, are you nationalist now? Oh, you're the Spanish Empire. Jose Antonio Primo de Rivera. Well, that empire is not going to last long. Interesting. We need Zaragoza. Just take the capital if you can. We have resistance to occupation, the Basque Country. Uh, let's come here. Spanish Empire martial law is definitely good. Definitely keep martial law on there. Make sure garrisons are on. Oh, that needs to be on high. We definitely need that military police. We need manpower and infantry equipment for that. Which we have enough infantry equipment for now. Good. You guys are doing a great job. Why are you going up that way? That's dangerous. That's extremely dangerous. How have they not capitulated yet? That doesn't make any sense to me. Now they're gone. So, so is Botswana. Great job, guys. So we've joined the war effort. I'm definitely going to need way more Coast Guards for this now. Um, Do all of this area. Oh, forgot about that, too. Not bad. And we have to still have to do Brazil, unfortunately, down here. Actually, this is looking a lot better than I thought it would. Yeah, get Brit... They can left Praetoria completely open. Awesome. Good. This is definitely going to screw them up, which is awesome, awesome, awesome. Well, honestly, with us joining this area, I'm feeling pretty good about this. Look at that. That's a big ol' axis. I really wasn't planning on joining the axis, but you know what? Whatever. What if happens if I would to attack these guys? Like, just to force Germany to start fighting them. Even though they really need some support up here. Like, you're barely connected up here. Like, Germany, I'd recommend helping them out up there. Like, that would be a very smart decision. But then again, the AI is the AI, so let's get some better fighters. Alright, so where is resistance still growing? 31% here? And ba Oh, Basque. Oh, yeah, go ahead and switch to martial law. Good. Yeah, now it's going down. Good. Uh, anywhere else? 1% in South Africa. No one cares about South Africa. Spanish Empire, martial law. It's good. Martial law. I love martial law. Ah, Manchuko. Manchuko. Industrial integration. Emergency converting stuff. Eh, that stuff is okay. I want to do more tanks. Industry, it's 1939. We want more probably electronics. Even though electronics probably isn't as good now since we can't do encryption and decryption for that. So we're going to wait on that. Um, industrial concerns, probably industry's better. Material designers, probably this right here. That is the goodness. Now, we have a total of 3% war score participation. I should probably focus a little bit more on this, to be honest with you. Yeah. 
get Cape Town, and then we can capitulate South Africa, and then get to this area too. I really want to expand my colonial borders a lot. But what am I going to do with my main army? We can go to war with Switzerland. There we go. Oh, we need two more political power. Ah, Rhodesia! Thank you! Thank you! You're going to become a part of my country. Ah, alright. So how much more do we need? 22 more. That's not bad. Get ready to go to war with uh, Switzerland since the Germans don't seem want, don't really want to help our, their French allies up here. Whatever. Repeal the law of exile. So they're, they're going to become monarchist. I'm already a monarchy. A unified monarchy over here. And then you're fascist. You guys are fascist. You guys are not aligned. Monarchy. Half the axis is just monarchies. Or will be monarchies. 1939. So I love it. Resistance is doing okay. As long as we have enough guns. Artillery is becoming better. Our fighters are doing better. Honestly, we put ourselves in a very good position. Hold on. The United States wants to send me, Portugal, who's in the Axis, guns. I'm going to say no just because I don't want my convoy sunk. But FDR, what type of game are you playing here? Like, that's a little crazy. Oh, we got encircled. That's not good. Go ahead and come down here. Help them out. Uh, you guys, don't even do that. Just take all this territory. That's why I sent the horses down here. 5.7 kilometers per hour. Awesome. Can you guys... You can't kill them. Fault Nanjing. That's not good. What if we went up to here? And go to Dar es Salaam. There you go. Probably capitulate them pretty quickly. Ah, the Italians are arriving down here. Great, 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 great. Come on, horses. Get down there to get these guys a little bit more supply before they move on down south further on. Great. You know what? You know what? Hold the hold that guy there. You won't win. As long as they don't have divisions in Cape Town, we'll do okay. Oh, uh, they have a division in Cape Town. But it's not that strong. They have almost no organization. Mexico, of course we'll accept you. Accept your guys. Yeah. Oh, this is not a good game for the Allies. This is a terrible game for the Allies. And I'm only doing this just so that we have... Because, I don't know. Why not? After this, I want the Germans to fight the Poles. Get rid of this entire alliance. So that we can prepare ourselves for the invasion of the Soviet Union. Because if the Soviet Union falls, this should be too bad. And I will help defend against any sort of allied invasions into Europe. Actually, can I take this, France? Can I ask? Control of state? Oh, no, we can't. Request garrison support. Foreign manpower. Oh, I see how it is. You know what? You can deal with that. Catalonia? They're a bunch of anarchists anyways. We don't want them. Oh, boy. We got encircled ourselves. That's not good. Um, Find a way out. Find a way out. Your horses, you can move quickly, right? Maybe not. Well, I was expecting something like this anyways. Uh, are you guys... Wait. Oh, you can't even do that? Well, so be it. Come this way. Come to there. Try to encircle that one division. Oh, you're trying to encircle this division. Yeah, these cavalry divisions, well, they are who they are. Take that, take that, take that, take that. Get all the coasts, get all the victory points. And we're getting invaded in western... Oh, France. Hello. Ah. You've been invaded, but you're trying to invade them. Interesting. Interesting maneuvers. <clears throat> Alright, you're guaranteeing the independence of Switzerland? Well, I don't really care. For now, we can move our soldiers around. I'm probably going to lose my horses. Probably. Let's be realistic. Probably going to lose them. Oh, actually. Oh, yeah. We definitely need motorized for that, too. Do that, at least. Uh oh. What happened? Oh, help sink two convoys. Nice. Our navy isn't completely worthless. Good. Come out this way. Because we'll probably lose this division up here. Yeah. Can you come down here and come there, perhaps? Come on, Axis. Fight a little harder in Africa. I know it's I know it's Africa, but still. No, I need you. Why are you going that way? I need to take these tiles so that we can link up and sell enough supply. Uh, how are you guys doing? You guys are doing okay. Go ahead and crush them. Good. Good. Oh, we lost a convoy. Oh, we got this. Thank, thank you. Thank you back. Uh, thank you, uh, Port France. Thank you. Come on. We almost got that port. 
Pull out, pull out. Great. You guys come here, take all this extra territory. You guys are doing actually doing okay. Oh, they got Salisbury back. Whatever. Did we lose something? Yes, we did. We lost an allied convoy. Whatever. Good job, guys. Take out the Swiss so that the people can get more factories. Actually, that's probably a bad idea because there's going to be a lot of resistance. Why don't you help your guys up here, man? How strong is the UK? Move toward Indian... Indian. They're not that, that strong. But then again, your supplies are probably going to get raided and whatnot if you help them out up there. Uh, what is my intelligence group doing? Oh. Yeah, just guard convoys. Info... Info trading administration. Wait, where? Where did I send them? Oh, the Spanish government. Oh, that's right. That's right. Um, dummy head. Level three. I have a foot in this country. Some activity. I need to send someone home to guard against them. That'd be important. Oh. Union of Botswana. Huh. You're not doing anything, which is fine. You guys come right there. A new industry. Great. Civilian factory. More construction speed. Uh, let's see. Gained claims of Malawi, Rhodesia, Zambia. We can wait on that. And Singapore. And fight Japan. We can wait on that stuff. So, next up. Oh, we can't do this because we don't have everything in Angola. Whatever. Colonial army. That's okay. Extraction industries. Yeah, let's do that. So many of our riches lie in the soil, but our mines are old and artisanal. We must build a modern extraction industry. And I do want to build up more military factories right now. So I can make more guns, so I can make a lot of good things. And then make maybe make some, uh... Holy cow, is the, Itali the entire Italian army down here? It might be. If you guys... Can you come here and cut these guys off? That's probably the best thing that we could do right about that. Uh, oh, we've been encircled around here, which is really not ideal. If that's a case... Can you come up here? At least hold the victory point. That's probably the most important thing that you can do. And you're kind of here just to distract the enemies. Oh, Rhodesia. Uh, I could send you to go that way. I really want those enemies' divisions encircled, but... Angola? Not looking too bad. It could be a little better. It could be a little worse, though. Oh, crud. Now you're really encircled. Just hold. Hold. Come on, French Division. Do something. Good. Get rid of Switzerland to give everyone else a little bit more factory boost. Just a minor amount. And then we'll go to war with Poland. And then we'll go to war with the Soviet Union, probably. Spanish Empire ciphered, deciphered. Let's start doing the cryptology for the UK. Surprisingly, France is still holding on pretty darn okay-ish up here. I'm a little surprised, not gonna lie, that they're holding relatively well up there. This has definitely turned into a global conflict, though. Oof. You know what? Uh, we're gonna get encircled, aren't we? Do that. Right around the coasts. Uh, come up here, if you can. We're running out of fuel, which isn't good. Oh, good. Operations completed. Done. Now, you are good at sabotaging stuff, but you are staging coups, which we don't want. Ooh, so let's send you. You're rooting stuff out. Root out resistance, control trade, diplomatic pressure. Uh, intel, quiet intel, boost ideology. Let's do counterintelligence here. You're doing the same thing. Some activity has been noticed. Could I build an intelligence network in London? Let's try that. This level 3 is not bad. Let's go ahead and level ourselves up a little bit more with more passive defense. Good God. South Africa looks like one giant flipping mess. Awesome. Cut them off, cut them off. Move up, move up. And destroy those two South African divisions. They want to destroy us? We'll destroy them. Oh, help them out, help them out. If we can break through here fast enough, we can rescue that division. I'll link up with that French division that's hurting it. That's not very good right now. Awesome, we might get in support ourselves. Oh, but Cape Town, I don't know if they have a division. They probably still do, which is fine. Kill it. 
kill it before they link up. Great. Get in there. We've done 4%. 4% war score participation. Venezuela. Oh, Venezuela and Antilles isn't looking good. That's okay. The Allies have lost quite a few guys. The Axis has lost not even a million yet, which is awesome. Good. Have we lost the division yet? No, we're retreating though. We're almost at Salisbury. We've linked up. We have supplies. Immediately start attacking. Just encircle Salisbury. Destroy the divisions in there. If we can. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't lose it. Don't lose it. It's going to take him forever to get there anyways. Uh, more fuel. Oh, definitely don't do that then. Uh, Yugoslavia might be okay. It's not much. I need to get some uh, fuel refineries. Beautiful. Beautiful things, my friends. Beautiful. You take that. You come over here. Do not let them escape. Actually, go to Windhook. Oh, God. We got him. Son, we got him. Destroy that division. Destroy Salisbury. Destroy that division. We've got this. Oh, we got military police. Great, 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 great. Field hospitals are probably going to be pretty important too, but... <clears throat> it's 1940. Actually, instead of that, get some research speed. Go ahead. What are we using to garrison regions? We're using the Brigada de Calavaria. Also, uh, so one of my subscribers told me that... The Union of Portuguese in Brazil, the Portuguese people, basically everyone's Portuguese is like, Lusophonia. Kind of cool. <clears throat> so I'll try to reference though that word when I'm talking about our empire, basically. Uh, definitely get military police. Actually gives you a lot of breakthrough, or not breakthrough, but a lot of defense. Wow. That's a lot more defense than I thought. Definitely plop that sucker on there. That's great. Oh, we need a lot of guns. Oh, crud. We got enough support equipment, but we need a lot of guns. Uh, that's the case. Come on back here. Thank you. Uh, just don't like that. There you go. Awesome. Keep making more of that. Put you at the top. That'll be fine. Uh, we definitely need more fuel, though. Holy cow. Definitely, 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 definitely need more fuel. Even with four cavalry divisions, we're still doing a pretty darn amazing job. Now we have 122 factories. We haven't been invaded here just yet, which is good. Uh, ships, go ahead, your subbies, I'm gonna put these boys back home, so you guys, stop doing what you're doing, go home, and just heal up. We're justifying on Switzerland, so that we have no one in between our lands, our Axis lands, that could potentially upset us. France is slowly losing, oh, they're definitely gonna be losing up here, which is not good. We go to war with the Soviet Union, eh, it's kind of a mixed bag, oh! Okay, so now we're really losing in Africa. That's really upsetting. But, uh, I mean, we're winning down here. They're kind of losing up there. It's a, it's a trade-off. It's a trade-off, you know. I had to do what I had to do. Industry, industrial concerns. Tanks. Do that one. Good, yeah, kill them off over here. I really hate that they got more supply. So, let's kill them off and move that way. You just kind of rest up. More passive defense? Get even more passive defense. That'd be great. Go ahead, kill them off around here. They're trying to attack to get out of their problematic areas. We have lost an Italian convoy. Unfortunate, I know. And these guys are going to die up there. So be it. Take out Switzerland. Next episode, we'll take out Poland. Give Germany as much resources as it could possibly take in. So that... Oh, they're going to form the Reich Commissariats. They have an easier time against the Soviets. You only have 124 divisions? Holy cow, that's not much at all. Holy cow. Really want to finish off South Africa here. That's really, really important. Um, oh, did this group die? This group might have died. Great. Come on, kill them off. Kill, get in there, or where are they going? I don't, I don't know. Just take all the tiles down here. That Oh, there they are. Found them. If you hold, we can destroy that other division as well. Come on, France. You got this. You guys got this. Get people more factories from Switzerland. And that'll be another target that they could take out or when the peace deal happens. Ooh, what happened over here? 
I've lost two convoys, god dang it. Spanish Empire. What a bunch of jerks. I need to research refineries. Oh, we're still building up infrastructure down here. Actually, that's not a bad idea. Build up more stuff like that, but start building up perhaps a few more dockyards. We could probably use some of those. Do something like that. There you go. Convoys continually getting raided down here. Send some Coast Guards to help out down here, too. Even though we really need more fuel. Holy cow. Come on, I want to go to war with these guys. Extraction stuff. Italy has claimed Greek territory, so be it. Hydroelectricity for more building slots, but a little bit more construction speed and less consumer goods. That's good. With a large investment made in the north and central center of Portugal, it is now possible to build a network of dams that will produce electricity and regulate river flows. Good. Awesome. Radio detection. Thank the Lord. I can build radar. Atomic stuff sounds like fun, but that can that can wait. I can definitely, definitely wait. Artillery. I need artillery. We need better gun stuff, too. Uh, there's so much I want to do, but we don't have the resources for I definitely need to start bu building a navy up. Because subs, they're okay. Subs are okay. They're not great. But I'm going to invest in subs. I'm going to try. A massive sub army. Oh, look. Death. Kill them off. Are we getting invaded in western France? Oh, you completely... Oh my goodness. France, why? Why? Why would you do this? Rush, rush, rush. Actually, that's not too bad since we can destroy just their manpower. They took a port, which is extremely bad, but at least the U.S. isn't involved so far. So far. Don't lose North Africa, Italy. Even with France's help, you still lost North Africa, but we were linked up here, which is really nice. You guys are doing okay. You guys, can you? No, don't do that. If you can come right here, you... Excuse me, please stop. Thank you. Uh, convoys, great. Hmm. I definitely need more fuel. There's nowhere I can get... Oh! Iran? Hello! More passive defense? Interrogation techniques? How about more passive defense? An extreme amount of passive defense. What are our divisions doing? You guys are heading down south, which is... Please just take Cape Town. If you could do that, that'd be amazing. Resistance in Transvaal. South Africa, definitely use martial law. Mozambique, uh, definitely use martial law. Since we have, I think we should have enough stuff to deal with these guys. Good. Basque country. Oh, good God, we need so much infantry. You need so much infantry equipment to do this stuff. I don't mind hurting that just a little bit. I can get one more steal from the Germans. Uh, which, maybe not. Okay, the French instead. That's a little better. You know what? Give me even one more from the French. It's almost like we're creating a European Union of sorts. Good. That'll be good. Oh, you're trying to attack. That's fine. Uh, let the cavalry get down here and just come down here. Take Port Elizabeth. Ah, uh, you come right there. You can do. Oh, oh, you go right there. You can do that and then that and then that. Ah, oh, they want an encirclement themselves. I see. I see how it is. Kill them. Now, attacking over river is a bad idea, but it should be okay. America. I, I, I want to, but the navies just aren't aren't there yet, man. Uh, our divisions came up here. What have we attacked? Good. Take that French territory back. We are now at 4% still. German ranks only done 22%. Italians and the French are doing really well. Very nice. Come on. They're trying to break out. They're, they gotta be suffering for supplies. Awesome. Good. Go straight to Cape Town. Defend your lands. You don't even have to kill them off. Just... Oh, if you could win down here, that'd be amazing. Give them some force attack. Oh, no, 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 no. They have two divisions. Oh, but they're not that strong. They're not that strong. Come on. If you could win down here, that'd be the... Gr that'd be great. Actually... Oh, yeah, do that. That's good. That's good stuff right there. Awesome. We're, we're doing okay. We're actually doing relatively okay-ish. Especially in Africa. Well, except for them. And before we end our episode, let's go ahead and go to war with the Swiss. 1940s. Attack bombers. Better fighters. That's important. 
Oh, you're getting attacked. That's unfortunate. Oh, we're definitely... Our so, attacks are definitely costing us quite a bit. But it might be... Shisa. Well, that's big old Shisa. Oh, I thought they already joined the war. Oh, so many more infantry equipment, but we're doing okay on that. Good. They're done. They're dead. They're going to die here. With an extra division here. That's good. Why did they join in 1940? That doesn't make any sense. But whatever. We'll still be okay, probably. Probably. But now they can focus on the Japanese, like Venezuelan territories, Peru. Even the Mexican Junta isn't in the Allies. They're fascist. Three during the Allies, that makes sense. We have until when? June 17th. That's good. Um, interrogation techniques. Save ourselves for now to build our own stuff up. Italy's coming back with a vengeance. Great. I want to finish off these guys first. Yes, we took it. And we're getting... Oh, we did it. We helped them out. We did a great job. We did awesome in South Africa. Look at that. You guys come that way. Now, this is a giant mess, but that's fine. We'll work on this as time goes on. Let's go ahead and finish... Go to war with these guys and see what happens. I'm going to hold the line. They're not going to get anywhere. Uh, we probably wouldn't win here anyways, but let's end the episode anyways. World War II has definitely started. It's a giant flippin' mess. The United States got into the war early, which I'm a little concerned about. But the UK is still alive. That's it. The UK, the United States. France is perfectly intact and fine. Germany's intact and fine. Italy is... Yugoslavia is. I'm okay for now as well. we got plenty of factories, but we will have to move quickly if we want to be successful. Holy crap, France. What the hell is this? Oh, no wonder we weren't doing so great in Africa. They're attacking Southeast Asia. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed it, consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I will see you all tomorrow as World War II gets even weirder. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.